Okay, let me just save this. This is not a video that I typically do, but I saw this on a Schmozno yesterday. If you don't know, what, if you haven't seen this video, um, which I don't know, I don't know if y'all do subscribe to Schmozno, but check it out. It's this box box office Sunday type thing. But here's the thing, you know, with this video or the, the video that I saw yesterday, I was really surprised about the box office reaction. In a sense, you know, I kept thinking, I'm like, what the, you know. And here's the thing, okay, because. He was going, like, what he does is go over, like, the top five movies at the box office. And, you know, and he, and he tries to find people that get the list actually right and all that. But here's the thing, okay? Because the movies that came out this past weekend, Pacific Rim and Grown Ups 2, you know, and I saw comments in, like, videos like Jeremy John's videos, Chris Tuckman's videos, and Schmozno's videos and all that. And a lot of people kept saying the same thing, like, if Grown Ups 2 beats Pacific Rim, we'll riot or something like that. You don't know how many comments I've seen that in all these different videos of just these three different YouTubers. I'm not even kidding. It's just really... Let me just say this. Those people really jinxed themselves so bad because Grown Ups 2 did beat Pacific Rim at the box office. I was so pissed. I was so flipping pissed about that. I mean, oh my god. I mean, Pacific Rim was a great movie, and Grown Ups 2 was, just sucked. I mean, it was terrible. I mean, you know. I mean, because I gave Pacific Rim an 8, and I gave Grown Ups 2 a 2. <laughs> you know, I mean, but really, you know, here my, here's my theory. Okay, let me just tell you the top five movies at the box office. I don't remember exactly four or five, but I'm pretty sure five was The Lone Ranger, and then number four was The Heat. Number three was Pacific Rim. But number two was Grown Ups 2, then number one was Despicable Me 2. And at first I was kind of like, should I be more shocked that the Grown Ups 2 beat Pacific Rim at the box office, or the fact that neither one of those, mo neither one of those movies got number one? And you know, I, I kind of thought about that in a little while, and then some guy replied to the comment on the Schmelzer video, and he's like, I'm pretty sure it'd be worse that Grown Ups 2 beat Pacific Rim. And I'm like, and I kind of realized, you know, what was I thinking? You know, I mean, Despicable 2, great movie, definitely. I just really wanted Pacific Rim to be number one because I wanted this to be like the big Transformers movie that we never got. You know, it's finally here. I mean, <laughs> Pacific Rim. Who has not seen Pacific Rim and, lo and not loved this movie? That's a big question. I mean, because as far as I know, everybody loved this movie so far. That's all that I know. And here's my theories on why I might think that Grown Ups 2 had beaten Pacific Rim. Here's one of my theories. You know, the fact that I think a lot of people don't really... Here's one thing. A lot of people don't really know Guillermo del Toro. I mean, they know movies like, probably like the Hellboy movies and then Pan's Labyrinth and other movies like that. But, I mean, he hasn't really made much, like, worldwide releases. I don't think Pan's Labyrinth was a worldwide release. That's just me. I know the Hellboy movies were, but I don't know about Pan's Labyrinth. I mean, you know, he's just kind of like the guy that you just know the name. You have... He hasn't really made a whole lot of movies. And here's the thing with Adam Sandler, with Grown Ups 2, I mean, Adam Sandler, you know, you put Adam Sandler on the name, you know, he's just a big star. And if you put his name on something, people are going to go see this movie, whether they like it or not. And because I think Adam Sandler's definitely been around longer than Guillermo del Toro. That might just be me. I don't know if he's been like in the 80s and beyond. But all I know is that Guillermo del Toro hasn't made as many movies as Adam Sandler has. And I know Adam Sandler's, you know, not the director, but I think he is the producer of these movies, you know? I mean, he has his own production company, Happy Madison, you know? And that's definitely one of my theories, is because Adam Sandler is more well-known than Guillermo del Toro, so they're going to go with the guy that they probably know more of than Pacific Rim, because maybe some people probably just don't trust it. I don't know. You can argue with me about that in the comments below, but let me... And here's another thing, okay? Number two is... Okay, let me just say this. This one is just really, really just confusing and all that. But, I mean, here's the thing. Because number two, the fact that the first Grown Ups movie made more money than any of his Happy Madison, Adam Sandler's movies, I don't know, combined, but let's just say, I think, okay, as far as I know, Grown Ups had made like, as far as, I think I'm pretty sure it was like $278 million at the box office, which is really good, actually, for a, for a slapstick comedy like Grown Ups. I mean, I, I have nothing really, 
I mean, I'm not saying I hate the first Grown Ups movie. I just, yeah, you know, it has moments. I was really surprised when this movie, this is that this movie made so much more money, and the fact that when it first came out, everybody was talking about this movie. They were just saying like how funny it is, and I'm like, is it really that funny? I'll go check it out, and I'm like, I laughed, you know, but it wasn't like necessarily comedy goal like Will Ferrell movies. Let me just say this: those are movies you can laugh at. Adam Sandler movies, I think some of them have their moments. I'm sorry, my ear is really messed up. I don't know what's wrong with it. Anyway, like I said, I mean, Adam Sandler, you know, sometimes he'll have funny, some funny moments in some of his movies. I, it, he did in Grown Ups. I mean, I'm not going to lie. He has some, there are some funny moments in Grown Ups. But though, I mean, there are other movies that they're just not. And I guess it really depends on the fact that People don't think that Grown Ups 2 is actually the worst in the movies, so they're probably going to give this a shot. And the fact that really, because Grown Ups 2 was definitely Adam Sandler's biggest movie known to date, you know, that's probably one of the reasons why they made the sequel, which honestly I don't understand because it feels like all of Adam Sandler's movies are sequels. I mean, let's face it, they work with the same guy year after year after year. I'm not even kidding, you know, that's, it's a true statement. But... The fact that Grown Ups 2, or the first Grown Ups movie, was so popular of all of Adam Sandler's movies, it's no wonder that they did, that made they made a sequel. Blech. That's definitely one thing, you know. That's really all I have to say about it. I feel like there should be more theories about it. I'm just still trying to get over the fact that Grown Ups 2 just even beat Pacific Rim. And the fact that... Now that's about it. But I was really more surprised that neither one of them got number one. Because, you know, when I heard, when I looked in the title in the Schmozno video that Grown Ups 2 beats Pacific Rim, I'm like, this movie got number one? No, it got number two. It sticks with the two in the title of Grown Ups 2, so it has to be number two. But you figure a cool movie like Pacific Rim, you know, would be just beautifully crafted, you know, it's just beautifully well made for a sci fi robots and monsters movie you would just think a movie like that would be number one but i feel like here's another theory i have is that i don't think pacific rim was very well promoted like and here's what i mean by this i feel like grown ups 2 had much more advertisement than pacific rim you know and it's i mean it's happening like that with most of guillermo del toro's movies you know i mean it's like once the um but really, it's just when the um, the TV spots come in and all that, then they start to really advertise the movie. But, I mean, let's face it. I mean, when the trailer came out, you know, that was one thing. And, it, and you know, people really were like, oh, this movie looks really good. I'm going to go see this. I want to go see this movie when it comes out. But they never really advertise this movie, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? It's just, it just didn't get well perceived promoting-wise. It didn't set out. I mean, when you have a big movie like this, you want to set it out. You know, you want to you want it to be on billboards. You want it to be on TV all the time. You know, or like you want it to air everything. It didn't really do that so much. It really didn't even do that when this movie started becoming started getting closer to when the movie was coming out. Grown Ups 2, let's face it, you know, the trailer came out. Everybody's been talking about it and then there's just so many trailers and advertisements and interviews. And the only interview that I know of Pacific Rim was on Conan, like, this past week with Charlie Hunnam. And he wasn't even the main guest, main special guest on the show. He was, like, right after Kevin Bacon, who was doing R.I.P.D. And that's one thing, you know, because Grown Ups 2, I mean, have you seen, if you've seen this one, like, little clip on YouTube, sometimes when it's, when they're talking, like, Grown Ups 2, it's like, you know, they have so many interviews with the guys and they have the heads up. I mean, this movie was just so well advertised. You know, I mean, it, it kind of resembles back to you don't even care if this movie is going to be terrible. You just want to advertise your movie. And that's really one thing, too. You know, advertisement is one of the key points in Hollywood today. When you have, when you have a movie that you know is going to be good, you have to sell it out to the whole world. You have to let people know. But when you have a slapstick comedy with someone that you've known for, like, the past, like, what, 15 years, maybe? Well, longer, but I think 15 years ago was probably when he was starting to become really popular. Maybe long, maybe a little bit longer than that. But anyway, my point is, you know, if Pacific Grimm had done more advertisement, 
you know, had people gotten more interviews and, you know, putting on billboards and all that, this movie probably would have been maybe even close to number one. But the fact that, you know, kind of like I said before, that, because people know Adam Sandler more than Guillermo del Toro's movies and all that, it's probably why people went to go see an Adam Sandler movie rather than this person that, funny name, look cool looking movie, but is it really going to be good? You know, that's definitely one thing. Well, those, well, that's my theories on why I think Grown Ups 2 beat Pacific Rim. Let me know what you thought. You know, what, you know, did, were you surprised about this? You know, what did you think about the box office reactions? You know, comment below and just let me know what you thought about everything. About, <laughs> you know, just about Grown Ups 2 beating Pacific Rim in general. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, tell all your friends, and hopefully I will see you sometime tomorrow. Bye.